other is in a coma after an alleged road rage assault on Thursday that left her unconscious. Yeah, witnesses say a man picked up the woman and body slammed her to the ground. Julie Dunmire spoke with her family about her recovery and their message for that suspect tonight. Julie. Derek and Janice, there is still so much family doesn't know as Samantha Sutherland <coughs> remains in a medically induced coma. A mother of two, Samantha Sutherland is just 23 years old. Shown here all smiles with her children. Her reality now is devastating. Sutherland has been in the hospital since Thursday, the last few days. They've been really tough. Samantha is at Butterworth Hospital after a man allegedly slammed Samantha's head into the ground possibly the result of a road rage incident on Alpine. We've never had to deal with anything like this, and it's just, it's kind of been a blur. I mean, I don't remember, it's hard to even remember like what has happened every day since this incident. The man police believe is responsible, 24-year-old Eric Alvarez. He's charged with assault with intent to do great bodily harm less than murder and failure to stop at the scene of a crash after multiple witnesses identified him as the man who hurt Samantha. It happened in a Starbucks parking lot on Alpine and family says the two did not know each other prior to their encounter on Thursday. How could you, you know, potentially who knows what the, the health and the, the future is going to hold for my sister if she's going to make it or she's not going to make it. I mean, you could have potentially taken away a mother, a sister, uh, a daughter from so many different families. And for what reason? Because you got upset for a, a road rage incident for whatever happened. Her older brother, Daniel Sutherland, drove all night from Atlanta to be with his family. How are you going to take your anger on, on a 24 year old or 23 year old girl for for what? Mm -hmm. What purpose did it serve? It's hard for her family to understand why someone would do this. There's not, there's nothing a, an individual like that, or especially a female, could do to me to cause me to want to revoke anger and throw someone to the ground like that. Right now, more questions than answers. The more I talk about it, the more I just like, it just, I get upset and furious about it, but then I just like, I just don't understand. They wonder about what lies ahead for Samantha's two children. When she gets home or if she gets home or whatever happens, I mean, she could get home and not know who, who these who these kids are. And what that future will look like. In the best case scenario, you know, you're, you're dealing with a long road to recovery. And, you know, I just, um, no matter what it caught or what it takes or what is involved, I mean, I just pray that we get this other opportunity to help Samantha and help her, you know, give her another chance at life because, I mean, you can see how quick and easy it can be taken from you at no fault of your own. Now, we will, of course, continue to update you as we learn more about Samantha's condition. Family says they are grateful to the witnesses at the Starbucks who helped identify alleged attacker Alvarez. He's now being held on $500,000 bond. GoFundMe information to help Samantha linked with this story on our website. Live in the newsroom tonight, Julie Dunmire, Fox 17 News.